oh my gosh y'all they have a new color and best believe i ordered it i never use this thing <laughs> Hey girl, let's talk about what's in my everyday makeup drawer. Cause I cleaned it out, finally. <laughs> I have put it off for so long, but I finally cleaned this drawer out. And I kept a few products in here that I use on a daily, whenever I do my makeup. And I also pulled out some products that I haven't really been using that I feel like I need to start using. And yeah. And we're gonna call this my spring summer everyday makeup drawer because it literally is giving that. I don't really have foundations in here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so if you guys have never seen any of these videos from me where I share my everyday makeup stash or like what's in my everyday makeup drawer, it's basically just me talking about all the products that I keep in my everyday makeup drawer, literally everyday makeup drawer. Um, but I do have a ton of other drawers right here on the side that I keep my entire makeup collection in. These are just the products that I use the most, that I reach for the most whenever I need to do my makeup. I sit here at my vanity and use the products that are in this drawer. But anyway, let me just show you what I have in here. Cause yeah, and it's actually a lot of products. So we're just gonna go ahead and dive in. Let's talk about conceal, not concealers, but uh, sunscreens first. This is the Skin Proud Serious Shade Sunscreen. I got this uh, not too long ago from Walmart. It's a sunscreen serum and when you put it on, it literally looks like a glowy goodness on the skin. I wish I didn't have makeup on today so I can just really show you guys what the products are like, but it's really liquidy. Um, and then you just rub it in. There's no white cast at all. You have to rub it in really good and it gives your skin a beautiful glow. Look at that, butter, okay? Butter. So that's a sunscreen that I'm keeping in my makeup drawer. Um, and then I have this serum from MAC Cosmetics. It's the Hyper Real Ceramizer. It's like a serum and a moisturizer in one. So if I feel like my skin needs that extra oomph to it before putting on makeup, I will reach for this. Honestly, I don't have much left in here but I'm keeping it in the drawer until I empty it. And then, okay, I haven't put this on the face yet. I just threw it in the drawer because I think I wanna use it in a video with you guys. But I recently got this in PR. This is the Kosas Dream, Be Dream Beam Comfy Smooth Sunscreen. So, I already tested this out on my hand and I didn't really care for it on my hand because it gave gray and ashy, but I still wanna try it on the face for um, with you guys in a video, cause you know, that's what I do. So I'm gonna put it on my hand and show y'all. Ooh, probably should have shaken it, shaken it up some. Put it on the hand and this is how it looks. But once I, like, hold on, let me just show you. I don't know, it just looked really gray on my skin when I first tried it, like when I first opened it. I put it on my hand immediately because I was excited about it. But it just looked, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We're gonna see in a video, in another video. But yeah, I'm keeping it in my makeup drawer because if I do end up liking it, I'm definitely gonna be reaching for it when I do my makeup. So that's why I have it in here. Now, okay, foundation. I don't have foundation, but I do have a skin tint. This is the... Uh, Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow Moisturizing Skin Tint. I already did a whole video on this product. This is in the shade Chai. And I also, oh, this has SPF 30 in it. And I have another SPF that is actually a tinted moisturizer. This is the Super, Glue, Super Goop Glow Screen SPF in the shade Sunset. This is their new shade. And she is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So I actually reach for this more than I do the um, Too Faced. But yeah, that's all that I have for like my sunscreens and my skin tints. I haven't been reaching for primers. I just do my skincare in the morning. If I'm, if I'm putting on makeup, I'll come in here and put on, like just throw this on the face or the Too Faced, but after doing my um, my skincare routine in the bathroom, I'm good. Like I don't be putting on a primer on top of it. 
I don't know. I really don't have a reason. I, I, just, I just don't be doing it. And my makeup still looks good throughout the day. So anyway, um, so for concealer, I am going to be, well, I'm using this one from Minted. And I did show you guys this in a video already. I did like a, um, uh, I did my everyday makeup routine, but with different products. And this was one of the products that I used. So yeah, the Minted, Minted Concealer in the shade CEO. This is a really good concealer, you guys. Really good. So I'm still using that. And to spot conceal, I'm still using my Sephora Acne Treatment Cream Concealer. This has salicylic acid in it. I really don't know why they discontinued this concealer. Like, why did they? Do? I'm going to wipe this off my hand. Yeah, I don't know why they be discontinuing stuff. Um, stuff that's good, you know? Really don't understand it. Um, and then, okay, so e.l.f. is going to stay in the... This concealer is going nowhere. I'm going to always keep it in my everyday makeup drawer. I'm going to always use it because it's my favorite concealer of all concealers. The e.l.f. Camo Concealer, 16-hour camo concealer, and I use the shade Deep Chestnut. And those are the only concealers that I... Well, the Rim Beauty Concealer that I put on my brows. I always use this. Um, this is how it looks. I always put that on my brows and that's all. Those are the only concealers that I have in the drawer. And then setting powder. I really like this, um, eye brightener from Laura Mercier. I've been using this after my setting powder though. I did use it in the video where I did my everyday makeup routine with new products, but I also wanted to try it out on top of a setting powder just to give me that brightness because it is an eye brightener and I like it that way too. So yeah, the Laura Mercier eye brightener, this is in the shade one and a little bit of this goes a long way. It's very, very, very bright. So yeah, a little bit goes a very long way. Um, and then I'm also using my Westman Atelier, Westman Atelier powder in the shade pink bubble. This is just a, um, it's pretty much a translucent setting powder. I just put that on to set my concealer. And I'm still using the um, Sephora translucent setting powder. So those are the only setting powders that I have in the drawer. And then I, I don't know why I put this in the drawer because I keep it in my purse. But this is the Fenty Beauty Invisimat Instant Setting Powder. This is what I use like whenever I start get, getting, whenever I start getting oily throughout the day. I just, you know, blot my face with this. Um, I'm gonna put that back in my purse. I don't know why I put it in the drawer. Um, and then we have, what's the next thing I do after setting my concealer? Brr, no, this. MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. This is my Holy Grail product. This is gonna always stay in my drawer just like the, the e.l.f. Cosmetics Concealer. They are going nowhere, okay? nowhere but this is what i use all over the face this is what i have on today i don't have any foundation on the only thing i have on is the um sephora uh concealer to spot conceal and then i just brush this all over my face and i use the shade dark deepest in that and um bronzer nars this is the new shade it's in the shade laguna number six and I got the mini size and it's actually a good size. So this is, I don't have this on today. Actually, no, I don't have this on today, but I do have the MAC bronzer. I've been using the mess out of this. This is in the shade um, Rich Golden. It's the new skin finish, no, Sunstruck skin finish bronzer. Gorgeous. And the other bronzer I have, I also wanted to start back using this. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpting Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade Dark Deep. So this is like a cream bronzer. It's really pretty on the skin. So using that again whenever I want to use a cream bronzer. And since this is like still pretty new, I wanted to keep it in my, uh, my everyday drawer. This is the Pat McGrath bronzer in the shade Mahogany. So I have, what, one, two, three, four bronzers in here. Oh, forgot to show y'all this. The Kosas Cloud Set Setting Powder. So when I don't use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, 
I'm gonna be using this. So I'm gonna kind of go back and forth with these two. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna open it like that. So yes, girl, those are the setting powders. After bronzing the skin, I go in with the eyes. I don't really have, I didn't even touch the palettes that were in here, so they're still in here. Didn't even take them out. So I have um, the Charlotte Tilbury, what is this, the Instant Eye Palette, Smoky Eyes Are Forever. It's right here. Whenever I do use this palette, I just use the shade, like I just, I really don't be dipping into these shades. I just use these at the end the most. So whenever I do use it, um, I have my new Pat McGrath mini palette. This is the mini eyeshadow palette, um, Sublime Smoke. The one I got during the Sephora sale. So she's in here. I have my Natasha Denona Safari palette. Y'all, when I say the, this palette and the one from Charlotte Tilbury has been in this drawer for months have not taken it out. So whenever I feel like dipping into color, I have something in front of me, which is that one from Natasha. And I have this, which is also, okay, this is definitely something I want to start back using for real, for real. This is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. So in here you have eyeshadows, you have a blush, and there is a um, highlighter that I don't use, but the blush in here, so freaking pretty. So definitely gonna start back using this. And I have I have my MAC Cosmetics um, Art Library. And this is just um, neutrals, warm neutrals. So yeah, those are only, those are all the eyeshadow palettes that I keep in the drawer. Whenever I wanna dip into some, you know, some color, I got that. Whenever I wanna do a full blown eyeshadow look, I'm good to go with the ones that I have in here. Um, okay, blush. So, this Chanel palette and the one from Sephora. These two right here are very, very similar, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this one from Sephora is way more pigmented than the one from Sephora, uh, than the one from Chanel. So this is how it looks. This is the Chanel palette. And I use these three shades the most. I haven't, I've never even worn this color right here, to be honest. This is like the highlighter color, but I just swirl my brush around in the colors and just mix them together and put it on the cheeks. And then the Sephora palette, this is Captivate. Yeah, Captivate, Micro Smooth palette. These two shades I use the most. I have not even tried this one as a bronzer because I think this is supposed to be a bronzer. I've never tried it out as a bronzer, but these right here on the on the cheeks, perfection. So those are my blushes. And I have this in here for blush, but I mostly use it on my lips. This is the Ami Cole Desert Date Cream Multi Stick in the shade uh, Dune. Yeah, Dune. And I just put this on the lips mostly because I love the color on the lips but it's really pretty on the cheeks too. I just like it mostly. I just reach for it mostly for the lips. Um, but that, if I want that color on the cheeks, I will um, have it in front of me because it's in the drawer. And what else? Okay, so before we get, yeah, let's do the lips last. We have mascara. So I'm um, starting to um, empty the e.l.f. lash and roll and I know it's kind of hard to tell if you're empty in a mascara but the way I know that I'm empty in a mascara is when it starts getting dry and this is starting to get kind of dry so and I use it like I use the mess out of this mascara so yeah I'm gonna use this one up and I also have the Merit mascara which is another one that I've been loving and we have my new Tower 28 mascara that I am gonna be using brow pencils, nothing really new here, but um, I have my Anastasia Brow Wiz and my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, the shade Dark Brown and the Anastasia Pencil, and I use the shade five, or I can use 4.5 in the Benefit Brow Pencil, but those are for the brows. Oh, 
I pulled this back out. This is the Kosas Brow Air Brow. So whenever I don't wanna use my brow pencil, I'll use this. This is in the shade Brown Black. Gives your brows that natural polished look. So yeah. Ooh, this, the Iconic London Brow Soap. This is new to me. So one of these days when I'm just sitting here playing in makeup, I wanna try this out on the brows to see if I can get that bushy, I don't know, I really don't know, but I wanna try it out and see. Um, and this is how it looks on the inside. I've had this for a while, I just haven't used it. So since it's in this drawer, I have a reason to use it. And what else, what else? Okay, whenever I do my lashes, I have, um, you guys are still asking me what lash glue I use. I always use the, uh, the House of Lashes lash glue. This is the dark. And for magnetic magnetic lashes, I use the Velour um, Lash Adhesive. And then I have my Too Faced Eyeliner. And this is what I put on my waterline whenever I wanna have that dark smudged look, smoky look. I put this on my waterline and this is just a black one. Lips. So I have quite a few lip products in here, which is nothing new. I have one lip pencil in here because I only, honestly just need one because I always use brown. Um, the Buxom. Buxom Lip Liner in the shade Creamy Chocolate. I have a lip oil. This Jizu lip oil has gone viral. I've had this for a while. I've had this before it even started going viral. But um, yeah, this is just what you know I throw on the lips when my lips are dry. I also have my Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade 1001. Yeah, 001. Ooh, this is what I have on my lips. This one and this. And this was on the lips today. I'm going to put a little bit more of this on because why not? And these don't tingle really. They just have that... Yeah, it doesn't really feel spicy on the lips. It's just a nice, I feel like they feel kind of cool on the lips instead of spicy. Anyway, got that. And then I have another lip plumper. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumper. It's like a little mini. And I have a clear gloss, the Ami Cole Clear Gloss. Oh my gosh, y'all, they have a new color and best believe I ordered it. I'm waiting on it to come, but the new color is like a really pretty bronze golden. Oh! It's so pretty. I cannot wait to get it. But yeah, the Amicole lip treatment. These are so freaking good, y'all. So good. So I keep that in here. And I also keep my Lawless um, lip balm in here too. And this is the, I think it's called Pink Marshmallow. Yeah, Pink Marshmallow. That. And okay, so these you can use on your lips. I use them on the lips, but you can also use them on the um, on your cheeks and on your eyes. And I got a new color. So the, um, Nat well, I'm about to say Natasha Denona. <laughs> Danessa Myricks. These right here. You guys have heard me rave about this one. This is in the shade Cupcake. My absolute favorite pink product for the lips. Um, but like I said, you can use it on your cheeks or your eyes. But yeah, Cupcake is my absolute favorite. So I'm keeping it in the drawer. But I got the new color. This is She came out with Nudes. And I got the shade 8, I believe. Yeah, Nude 8. This color right here is so, so, so good, you guys. I've actually used this as a conceal, not not to conceal under my eyes, but like as a spot concealer. And when I say putting this on my face, I see nothing like this just, this is the perfect color for my complexion. Like it's the perfect brown. Look at that. It looks like my foundation shade. But yeah, I've used it on some of my dark spots and it is perfect as a concealer i don't know if you could if you're supposed to do that but i've done it before and i just went over it with my um matte powder to set everything kind of like what i did today but instead i just used the sephora concealer as my spot concealer but i just wanted to try it out like that and it worked so yeah but this is a really pretty um 
nude color. I'm gonna swipe my finger so y'all can really see. Look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect color. And these are pigmented, very pigmented. But yeah, I tried it out as a spot concealer because when I got it in the mail, like it looked a little different online than it did than it does in person. So when I got it, I was like, okay, this color looks like I could use it as a concealer, like as a spot concealer. So let me try that. And it worked. So yeah. And it's also really, really, really pretty on the lips. Um, so I got that in here and I have the clear one. Can't go wrong with clear. So this is like a good little topper. And I have my Sephora. Um, I have a lot of lip products in here. <laughs> the Sephora Colorful Gloss Balm in the shade Coffee Date, which is a gorgeous brown color. And then the last two lip products I have in here are these Makeup by Mario um, lip colors. I have the shade Soft Nude and Caramel. So yeah, just some options, you know, have some options. And okay, the last few things, I totally forgot to go over these when I was talking about the eyeshadow. I always like to keep these in my makeup drawer because I use, well, especially this one. This is the Pat McGrath Single Shadow in the shade Deep Velvet. I always use this on my, like, I put the black eyeliner on my waterline and then I smudge it out with this. And that's what gives me that, um, that really subtle smoky look under my eyes. So always use that. And I keep this color in here too. This is Burnished Honey. Really pretty color for the lids. But that's pretty much it, y'all. All like the random stuff. Like I have this um, palette for um, foundation. If you wanna just mix foundations and then, you know, swirl your brush or your sponge in it and then apply it on the face like that. This is good for makeup artists, but I keep this in my drawer and I also keep my trimmer, my face trimmer. I use this to trim my peach fuzz. Um, I keep my Hot Shave, the Skinny Confidential um, Razor. I use this for my brows. I keep my tweezers in here and my pencil sharpeners. I have one from NARS, a Makeup by Mario, and I have one from e.l.f. That's e.l.f. And the last couple of things I keep in my drawer, I have this, um, I never use this thing. <laughs> um, lash roller. I also keep this little random KKW Beauty um, lip brush, you just twist it up and for like little pr lip products that you don't want to put your finger in, just put the brush in it and apply it like that. And I like that it closes all the way. Um, so this is when KKW Beauty was, you know, was a thing, you know, she doesn't have, um, that site up anymore. But anyway, uh, Kim Kardashian, by the way, that was her makeup line. Um, but that's pretty much all that I keep in my drawer. I have this random elf sponge in here and then that's it. That's all. Oh, of course my Tatcha Dewy Mist. I keep this on top along with all my brushes, but that's it girl. That is all what I keep in my everyday makeup drawer. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me pull out these products and show you. Let me know if you tried anything that I am currently keeping in my everyday makeup drawer. Do you like the product? Do you not like the product? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. But that is it, girl. Thank you so much for hanging out. If you enjoyed today's video, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Ooh, that actually curled. Hold on.